energy comes out of the cosmos, gets into this liquid ocean and then starts it moving and ends up in this teardrop shape, which is how we know energy operates. So the last expression of a breaking wave is this expelling pure energy in this shape. Very few individuals can ever get so immersed in pure energy. In a barrel, you are immersed in pure natural energy. And that's why we can't help ourselves, we've got to scream out, we, we get exhilarated. You, get it, you don't want to come in after you've just had the best barrel of your life, do you? You want to go straight back and get another one. You know, it's an amazing, the, the energy energizes us, because that's what we are anyway, so. It's an amazing connection. Okay, well, basically there's five ingredients that make, a, make up a surfboard. Um, and they're the, like, there's the plant shape, which is the outline of the board. Um, the bottom rocker, which is the curve in the bottom of the board running from nose to tail and how it varies. There's the thickness, the thickness of the board um, laterally, uh, the way the thickness is distributed through the board. Then there's the rail, which is the rail shapes and how they vary through, through from the nose through the middle and into the tail. And then we've got the fin and the way it's, it, what its function is, whether it be a single fin, a twin fin, a three fin, or, or whatever. That in itself dictates how the hull's going to react in general. If you had, um, say, four hulls, all identical, and you put one a single fin, one a two fin, one a three fin, and one a four fin, they wouldn't surf like each other at all they'd all surf differently. And that's because of the fin configuration. The plant shape uh, is, a, is a vital ingredient, they all are, but the plant shape determines where you stand on the board. So basically, you surf it from the back, you don't have to go anywhere, you can stay down there, your speed, your turning, everything's there. That's how they're designed, to ride off the back. If you sit this board beside a, a so-called modern short board, you'll see one, this one is very round and curving and soft and all that. The other thing will be straight and hard and aggressive. And you just ask yourself, looking at the two objects, which one would want to turn easiest? It's that simple. And if you see straights and flats and things like that, there's nothing... Turning is curving, so there's nothing curving about straights and flats, so it's difficult to turn. Um, with this, you're constantly arcing off this big round tail. All it wants to do is turn. If this tail was narrow and thin, it will drag in the water. It's because it's wide and thick, it sits high. And that in itself gets it up out of the water and it accelerates quicker turns easier and freer. You don't have to displace water, you, you just, the way you go, you're already up there. I use a three-stage rocker, and that's an entry curve which runs up in the nose into a planing area through the middle, and then an increasing tail rocker, slightly increasing tail rocker. The middle planing area through here is where your back foot sort of goes over the top of the dome and your front foot up here. It's all, the planing area extends in front of your foot so that the board's actually planing, it's not pushing any water. Now, also with the bottom, on my boards, I've got a, uh, it's part of my energy theory, the board's like twisted. It, it starts off at a low here, comes up through the planing area and then it uh, goes down again here, like a, a low point, low point, 
low point, low point, and they, they sweep through the planing area like that. Gives the board a twist through the, the length of it, which actually sits on the water better. It allows the water to flow around the hull a lot easier with more control. And also combined with this is the dome rolled effect. Now, that's a curve from rail to rail across the bottom combined with an increasing curve rocker and this creates a dome effect. And you can see there how much the roll there is in the board. It's quite significant. Now this roll it continues through into the planing area where it becomes broader and less of it. And then it, as it comes up into the nose area, it can increase again. Uh, and this gives a, a, a soft entry to the, like if a, you're running into chops and lumps and bumps, this curve and soft curve, more absorbing, uh, pulls the, the water onto it rather than a flat would repel it. Uh, it, this more absorbing so it m means you get more control. The dome itself, the high point in the middle, low points either side, you're constantly dropping from the high point to the low point and it wants to just roll on it by itself. It's not a V is a, a flat that side and a flat this side. It separates the board into two halves uh, and you're either on that half or this half. With a dome everything the energy just moves through the bottom of the board evenly without any interruption. You haven't got all the contours are smooth and flowing, like nothing to um, disrupt the water flow. You can stand on a, a, bottom like, a board like this with this bottom on a hollow wave, just stand, take off and stand up and you'll find that the board will find its way right into the eye of the pocket on its own. All you've got to do is stay there. These are things I discovered from the theory I pursued, this energy theory. All these things are in here that people don't realise. There's straight drive. Uh, this is, th these wide, thick tails are like going from a, a four-cylinder motor to a turbocharged V8. They've got so much more once you do this. Um, I mean, if you analyse it logically and you call this thing an object, and you want to stand on the back half of it most of the time, why would you want to make the back half the, the, the least area, the least amount of volume, the least support? It doesn't make sense. It makes more sense to make the back half the supportive half and give it the volume so that when you're standing on it, you support it and it can carry you forward. And then all the rest of these features combined add up to giving you a surfboard that's actually capable of carrying you and without a great deal of effort you can do manoeuvres easily on it.